G'day guys, welcome back to the True Footy YouTube channel. Getting a little bit of a head start on some 2023 draft content. Uh, to be honest, I just didn't have any better ideas for a video tonight. And this idea for a video series kind of popped into my head. What I'm gonna be doing is taking one potential draftee at a time, and uh, I'm going to react to their highlights in front of you. We're gonna watch it together, and I'm simply gonna tell you what I see and uh, what I like and perhaps don't like about a given prospect. So today's video, I have arbitrarily chosen Clay Hall. Now, I actually don't know too much about Clay Hall, but the general profile is he is probably about a six foot two to six foot three, which is about a 190 centimeter uh, midfielder from uh, Western Australia, specifically Peel Thunder from like the Harvey region. And I know that he is likely to go probably second round, potentially third round in this year's draft. Um, so I did a little bit of more research into him and uh, looks like he's played a bit of uh, Waffle League this year and obviously played for WA in the under 18 championships as well. So what we're gonna do is, the, the reason I sort of picked uh, Clay Hall or someone like Clay Hall first was because I actually didn't know a whole heap about him. I have a more intimate knowledge of like the top 10 and stuff like that. And if this series goes well, I will continue making videos like this and I'll of course be able to do videos like this about the top 10. To be honest, I want a little bit of a break from doing Harley Reid content, at least one day off, that'd be nice. Uh, but we will of course resume all of that stuff as well. So before we crack into it, a little bit of a background on Clay Hall in terms of what he's done this year. This is a statistical breakdown from this season in the Waffle. As you can see, he played all games uh, except for one for the league side. So this is competition against men, season men, obviously in the Waffle State League for Peel Thunder. There was one Colts game in there. Uh, I think he might have, uh, yeah, he got dropped once, then then. then might have been a break for the championships maybe there was an injury and then he finished the year uh, with some pretty solid numbers so he averages if you scroll up a bit 18.6 disposals a game I think that includes that waffle average as well uh, sorry that Colts game as well but uh, for an 18 year old very solid numbers now let's watch some highlights to see if this kid can actually play so let's check out this channel called footy stuff now big shout out to footy stuff um, because this person uh, I presume it's a bloke might not be uploads um, highlights and extended footage of players and draftees um, for this year's upcoming draft. So by all means subscribe, I'm gonna be reacting to some of the videos on Clay Hall, specifically two, one from an under 18 championships game against South Australia, and then another one where he's playing in the men's competition for the Waffle team, Peel Thunder. And the good thing about footy stuff is that he uploads you know, all if not most of the possessions that Clay Hall gets. There is a one minute clip on the AFL YouTube channel of Clay Hall, you know, but it's just kind of like his top end highlights for a minute. And the thing that's not great about that is if you just see highlights of a player, you don't really get a good feel for A, their weaknesses for a start, but as B as well, if they're an inside midfielder, a lot of their highlights that make these clips are like link up play on the outside. You don't actually see them getting down and dirty in the contested ball. So long story short, the longer uh, format videos are better and Footy Stuff does a great job. So shout out to him, subscribe to the channel and uh, yeah, let's crack into the first video. Cool, so it looks like uh, Clay Hall is number 35 there. You can sort of see him roaming around the back here. And again, like I said, it's not just, uh, it's, it's every possession just about that he gets. So it looks like in this game, he gets 34 touches, 10 clearances, six tackles, seven inside 50s. A pretty complete performance, but let's see how he goes. So that was his first genuine possession. It was a blind snap, it hits a target, happy days. Bit of a fumble there, that's all right. There you go, so that's a nice clearance. Gets a little bit of separation, and that's good. That's a good kick inside 50. So things to note about that, uh, he hit the ball well um, in terms of being composed under a little bit of pressure. Uh, decelerated just in time to release the kick and it also had a nice velocity on it. So it wasn't just accurate, it was direct and it was um, the ball over ball speed. I know that's kind of getting real weird and t technical. Oh, there we go, that's another nice highlight. So some run and, and play action there. Uh, second hand ball's a bit shoddy, but I like the work rate. So yeah, good foot skills on that one. Let's see how it holds out through the rest of the game. Nice handball over the top there to Curtin, who sends the ball inside 50. Where is he? He's at the back of the contest. Okay, so he's busy. Just almost affects a, a tackle there. Gets a handball out. Yeah, so some in and under stuff. This is what you don't see on like normal highlights packages. Gets caught there. Uh, lucky not to be holding the ball, but that's all right. He's in inside mid. It's going to happen to him. Okay, so you watch there, he makes a great run there. But the kick the kick inside 50 is fine, it's just a, not a great decision because the target, A, it wasn't to advantage, so not a great kick, but also it was a two-on-one, they had a spare defender there. 
to affect the intercept. But that's all right. You can tell he's got a nice kicking action. And like I said, the velocity of the ball, it gets to its target quick. And so he's got a technically proficient kick. Bit of a hat kick. You will get some hat kicks like that as inside mids just to get some territory. No real criticisms there because he's got showing a nice balance. Okay, that was him getting caught. Probably shouldn't have really received the handball there. That wasn't a great decision by anyone involved, but that's all right. Mistakes do happen. Where is he here? He's at the back of the contest. Gets a handball out. Does well. Again, the ball just doesn't doesn't quite get to him there, so he adjusts and handballs backwards. That's fine. Fine decision. Makes a contest there aerially. So he is a bit of a magnet. That's a nice handball. Again, I like I like his follow-up. He, he You can see him make a lot of runs to receive as well as getting the ball on the inside. So we're seeing a pretty balanced midfield here, midfielder. The only knock on him that I really see so far is handballs are a little unconvincing. Um, and I just don't, I think he's just not hitting the right part of the ball with the hand. He's trying to do it very quickly for a start. That's a fine kick to all the contests. Um, markable to a forward, but not really uh, to anyone's advantage, but that's all right. That's pretty standard. A bit of a blind handball over the back there, almost worked. Um, but yeah, just maybe the handball technique. You really want that as a skill as an inside mid, so maybe that's one thing he can work on. Nice idea, but sort of just absorbed contact at the wrong time and the handball didn't make it to the intended person. Again, some outside play there. That's a good kick. That's a good kick. Okay, so he went to Mitch Edwards, who's a ruckman uh, in a one-on-one, -on -one, and he couldn't quite equalize it. Well, he, he sort of neutralized it, but you feel like Jack Darling or Tom Hawkins would have taken a strong mark there. Where is he here? Shrugs off a tackle there. Nice little one step of speed there, but it was a lazy tackle, I reckon. So hard to tell from that, but at least he's got a little bit of evasiveness. You can see that. There you go, you can see it again. So his, his first step, I don't know what his top speed is or anything like that, but his first step is, is nice enough to get away from, from a defensive, defensive player there. Lazy handball there, that's all right, that happens. That's a better handball. Again, yeah, no, I'm being hypercritical, I know, but I suppose what else am I gonna do in these videos, right? Nice, that's a good first to speed. Again, not, not necessarily electrifying pace, but he Get some separation. That's all you need, the first couple of steps. The kick inside 50 was poor, though. Again, runs to receive. What does he do with it now? Handball's off. Yeah, gets involved in some link play. So again, we're seeing some balance here. Half the clips are he's at the bottom of the pack. Half the clips are of him running around to link up, which is, which is nice. That's a good balance of inside and outside. Again, nice kicking trajectory on that hit the target well again you know off one step it's kind of easy to do that in that situation but it was still you can tell he's an above average kick what does he do here yep reads that nicely contested ball gets the handball out very good play from clay hall there some link up play kick inside 50 will be interesting I like it. That's a really good kick inside 50. He ignores the more obvious option. The, the, the player should have marked that then. Should have rewarded the kick. Again, we see work rate. Obviously, didn't quite come off, but his attack on the contest is, is perfectly acceptable for an inside mid. Push off it there. Again, fights to get it back. I like that. Again, so now we're in like the fourth quarter and he's still running to create link up play on the outside. Some might call it junk time, but I, what I see there is he's still running on the outside to get the ball. Um, and he's doing it, I think, deep, yeah, deep into the fourth quarter. Oh, and then a nice clearance, potentially. Perfect. That's great. That's a great highlight. Gets the ball, gets the clearance, creates separation with a good first step, and then hits the target. Very nice. Okay, I like what I see so far. Now let's talk about how he goes in the men's waffle competition. Again, this is another footy stuff video. This is him now playing against men. So uh, experienced waffle players for the most part, more physically mature, playing in the guts. Let's see how he goes. Again, he's, we've got to hold him to a perhaps a lower standard there. You know, that's Travis Collier on his team. Um, tidy kick, the, the player did well to mark it, but uh, tidy kick. So yeah, like I, uh, like I said, like 
because he's playing against men here, we have to give him a little bit of leeway for things like composure and um, physicality. Yeah, it does well there. Handball to no one really, but I couldn't really see what he saw. Again, more play on the outside. Tidy kick. Does well to impact the handball there. Second effort tidy. Gets wrapped up. Just again, maybe a little bit of a sloppy hand pass there. And again, I don't know if I'm just seeing the wrong videos, but there's probably the one thing that's a, not a strength for an inside mid is uh, is probably just his handballs. It's, maybe it's just like a composure. Again, he's playing a level up. Even the championships, is, it was a level up because it's the best kids in Australia. Um, but I haven't seen really any good handballs uh, just yet. So that's probably the one takeaway. Again, it just didn't look like he hit the ball on the right part of the hand there. I'm not trying to be overly critical. Like, I like what I see of this kid, but I am... It'd be kind of a boring video if I just said, oh, that was good, and that was good too. Good attack on the footy, gets wrapped up, pretty standard. So you look at the bottom right there, he gets 22 touches, two goals, four clearances in this game. And if I'm not mistaken, this is his fourth game at Waffle League senior level. So pretty damn good effort, to be honest. Does a good job to complete the tackle there. Obviously a good contested player. Oh, just a little bit slow. He's lucky. He slipped the tackle, gets away from it. He's a little bit lucky the tackle didn't stick, I reckon. But again, we are marking him harshly. This is uh, his fourth game at the level. Does well there. Does well there. Nice sidestep a couple of times to get out of trouble and gets uh, gets a handball off. Oh, there, there he just he didn't see the player there. That's uh, hard to blame him for that. It is holding the ball. and He should never really received it. But again, it's a hot footy by the looks. This looks like a tense game. Nice. So you see how he runs to receive there as well? That's a nice attribute for an inside mid. So again, really balanced play between inside and out. Handball intercepted. Good follow-up. Doesn't quite get there to affect the tackle, but his, his presence is there. How's he go here? Okay, bit of a clearance. Again, a little bit slow on it, but not, not really his fault. It was just that there was a player there. So... Nice. Hack kick forward. Did well to, to gather it, send his ball forward, uh, send his team forward and get some territory. Brady Gray goes long. Oh, it's a good overhead mark. Nice. I'm not too sure who the player was that he marked it against. That's kind of relevant, but uh, that's probably the first time we've seen of like some overhead prowess too. So, you know, a good overhead mark. Let's, let's call it what it is. How's he go here? Gathers a uh, kind of loose ball. Yeah, it's a hot footy. Snaps it out of bounds. Yeah, that happens. Would have been amazing if he kicked that. Where is he here? Again, follow-up efforts. Two back-to-back -back attempted tackles. And yeah, that's good. that's ball. Umpire let that go too long, to be honest. They've called it 50. I'm not sure why. Croden. So I think this is the same highlight. It goes long from 50. That is a nice kick. If you've got an inside mid who can do that, that's a nice long penetrating kick for goal. Good, well, good on you, Clay Hall. This is a good game at waffle level. Cool. So to summarize what we've seen there, we've seen some good extended footage there of both um, you know, strengths and weaknesses. And for the, for the most part, what I've learned about uh, Clay Hall, good balance of inside and out. So good contested player, uh, good second efforts, physical, lays tackles, wins clearances. Uh, and on the outside, if you give him the space, he's got some class. Uh, maybe a couple of errant decisions here, but you go through any game review. And we've seen two, and I've been pretty critical. There's been a few poor decisions, but for the most part, very classy. Uh, that nice effort for, from long range to score a goal, very good. Again, if there's only one trait that I think he could probably work on, is probably the trait of you know good handballing in tight. Just a few misconnections there, but again, it's a small sample size, so maybe I'm not the best judge. But let me know in the comments, guys, what do you think? I think if this guy really nailed his handballing to a good standard um, and also maybe had a bit of overhead prowess, I think this is probably a top 10 prospect in there. But those are pretty two big strengths. So if he was marking around the ground and had you know forward utility and if he was um, if he was really accurate with his hand passes, consistently hitting targets and putting them to advantage, that's what the best inside mids do. But other than that, I see a pretty balanced game and I see a guy worth taking the punt on anywhere from 25 onward, probably at this point. But again, things can change. And again, I'm not a draft expert. I'm just trying to see what I see 
and make some evaluations. So let me know with uh, what you agree with, what you disagree with, what you see in the footage. And uh, again, maybe some requests for other players to look at. So hopefully some guys with some footage on YouTube. I can't really do it for like players that have no profile at all, um, but it doesn't have to be Harley Reid or Colby McKercher, but I will be doing those players eventually. So thanks for watching guys and I'll see you in the next video. Cheers.